It's a sketch comedy podcast show. Hello, viewers. I'm Chip Cosmo here on the sides of the Portland Marathon, and we're interviewing runners to see some of the kooky things that they've done to have fun out here running with their fellow citizens today. Oh, here comes someone now. Uh, hello, sir. Can you explain to me what you have going on here? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just real excited about this marathon, and, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of... Uh, of uh, Chiquita Bananas, so I uh, yeah. I, uh, I put together one of these uh, Chiquita Banana hats, what do you think? That's pretty impressive. As we all know, the only reason that people do marathons is to get attention from other people, and so they can post about it later on social media. And with a yeah, hat- Yeah, do, do you mind if I take an Instagram with you? Oh, of course. Why, well, I'd be offended if you didn't. Okay, okay, let's smile, three, two, one. Excellent, be sure to tag Nine News at 11, thank you. Okay, great. What a what a nice young man. Oh, here we have someone else coming up right here. And look at this. What do we have? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this marathon. It's my wow. fourth marathon this year. And what could you tell me what you're wearing? What's going on here? Well, it's a, it's a I'm, I'm in a banana. Oh, yes, of course. I don't know. I didn't put it together. But not just the hat. You're a this is a full on banana. Oh, yeah. The hat's not good enough. I, I wanted to get as much attention as possible, so I got in a full banana costume. I, I have to ask, is, doesn't that chafe? My understanding is that a lot of chafing happens during a marathon. This doesn't seem like I, an ideal wardrobe. I've only been running for about two, three minutes, and I am, uh, I am completely drenched in sweat. I'm starting to feel like I'm pitting out on this very thick, very heavy costume. You know, I, I don't want to make you doubt your choice, but you've got about 25 and a half miles to go. This might be a time to, I don't know, put on a running singlet, some running shorts, change, change your mind? I don't know. Uh, are there other news cameras up ahead? There are. Oh, the costume's fine. Oh, by the way, can I get an Instagram with you? Please do. One, two, three. Okay, tag at nine news at 11. Oh, nice young lady. Oh, here, here we have another runner coming up right now. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Can I talk to you about what you're doing today? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm very just excited to be at this marathon. It's so fun. I'm doing it for charity and uh, hopefully get some good pictures while I'm out here. A good cause and some good snaps. Uh, but I, I noticed that you're, well, what, what, what is this here you have going on? Is this an instrument of some sort? Yeah, it's a. I'm carrying around a tuba, so oh. I uh, every time I take a step, I blow a note on the tuba, trying to help out the band over here on the side. Did they ask you to help them out, or did you just take this upon yourself? No, I'm in a local ska band, uh, the oh. Ska Vets, You're and I wanted to make sure that I was out here promoting the uh, ska band. So I figured I'd what better way to do it than with the love of a tuba. And you, the year is 2018, and you are still in a ska band. Uh, well, keep keep it up, sir, and, you know, tuba away. All right. Would you mind if I uh, get an Instagram with you? I thought you'd never ask. Three, two, one. Instagram. Please tag at 9 news at 11. Wow. Well, quite a race. We'll be wrapping up shortly. Oh, I spoke too soon. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Can I talk to you about your choice of running apparel uh, here? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 What do you think of these? These are great, right? Well, they are something. I don't know if they're the most appropriate choice for running a marathon, though. You can't not look at these things, though, am I right? I can't take my eyes away. Is that a goldfish? Uh, that is a number of goldfish. I've got two five-gallon aquariums <laughs> as shoes. That's what, it, that's what it looks like. Now, I, I don't mean to point anything out, but that one of those fish does look dead. No, one of the things I forgot to do was leave a spot where I could feed the fish or oh. allow oxygen in the tank. So I'm expecting all the fish to die. But, dude, oh. how cool are these things? Well, they are pretty cool. And you're certainly going to get a lot of eyeballs on them. This is, this is something remarkable. You made these yourself? I made these myself. Uh, they're really uncomfortable on the feet. And uh, my legs are already starting to give out. But I figure... I am going to get so much attention because of these shoes. I am so excited. You're not, you're not wrong there, friend. Uh, hey, would you mind if we got a photo before you get out of here? 
Oh, yeah. I was hoping to get an Instagram with you, too. That'd be great. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. Uh, please remember to tag at 9 News at 11. Oh, uh, well, there you have it, folks. I, unless anyone else comes up to me, I think that that should be the end of our report uh, from the Portland Marathon. Oh, oh, he, here's someone right here running. Oh, my goodness. We've got a, this might be a streaker, uh, totally nude. Uh, hello, what, sir, what are, what are you doing here today? Is this for the Portland Marathon? What marathon? I'm just out getting groceries. Oh, uh, well, carry on. There you have it. A naked man getting groceries next to the Portland Marathon. I've been Chip Cosmo. Back to you for the weather.